Got the bucket and sponge, the broom, cloth you wipes. Dirty dragon! Hmm. <sighs> Die! Yeah. Hmm. Pat, don't think you're playing video games while I do chores. Mow the lawn, sweep the garage, but and after Stan, that... I already cut the grass. Yes, but that was last year. Now move along. The professor said we could borrow his lawnmower. You know, Stanley, you are a nag. <laughs> Let's get a herd of sheep and let them <laughs> chew to their heart's content. Hello, professor. I'm here to borrow your lawnmower. It's at the back of the house. Professor? But how could... But you were just inside. You're right about that, Pat. Ah! That is mine clone. I created mine exact twin right down to the health code violating rodent hairs. I save money on uniforms because he has mine. What? You mean he works for you like doing errands and chores? Allow me to show you and demonstration. Attention, Ninja Chi Chi. Hey, oh, boom. Oh, don't mess with me, I'm the most annoyed! Oh! I programmed him to speak with a New York accent, but I think it's made him angry or misunderstood. I need some alone time! <laughs> Super Pat, get ready to break a sweat! Here goes! Mow the lawn, take out the trash, and paint the house! Huh? No way! Shutters pop, canary yellow. <laughs> Super job, Super Pat. You hungry? Try this. Eat. Uh, sleep here, but be very still. Tomorrow you'll be busy. You'll need to re-mortar the chimney, trim the hedges, wash the car, and then if you've been working as fast as you should, chop wood. That'll be easy. <laughs> sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You work like a dog today. What got into you? You like doing chores so much, I never wanted to interfere. I'm sorry. I never thought you could do things as good as me. It's like a new you. So true. What a nice surprise. Hello, Stan. We came by to thank Pat for everything he's done. That's great. It seems all these years I stood in his way because I never trusted him to do things right. I've changed my tune and now Pat's on fire. Pat! <laughs> Pat! Pat, you should add removing the wax from your ears to your list of chores. You got some visitors. To see me? Really? <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Where are you going? Downstairs. I have company. What? They're here to visit you. There's no way. They must want me. Here, take these. Go back upstairs and don't move. <laughs> Ladies, how nice. A gift for me? Yes, to thank you for repairing my roof and cleaning out my cellar. And for weeding my garden, doing laundry. Look, Stan, a wooden tie! Oh, how I've wanted one and a naughty pine. How do I look? <laughs> oh, Super Pat, but what are you doing here? I didn't push your start button. You never turned me off yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, you're right. Well, let's go back upstairs and then... Well, back to work. <laughs> yesterday. <gasps> hey, you three look good together. Pat, you got something to say? Uh, yes. Uh, new glasses? No, they're not. What have you done to my sheets, huh? Yeah, uh, well, I... Huh? And why would you replace my toothpaste with soap? I did? Oh, my. Uh, wait. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah! He escaped! Never trust a clone that wears an ascot. What do I do now? Stand! Uh, I need to borrow you. Huh? Uh -huh. 
You're right. It's you, Frank and Pat. <laughs> Pat, <laughs> you have used my cloning device without <laughs> my permission. I'm sorry, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> What? Super Pat? What's up? I must sew name tags on all of Lily's diapers. <laughs> sort Stephanie's crayons by color, then wash and comb Professor Chi Chi's whiskers. Wash and comb, wash and comb, 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 comb. <laughs> Pat, I'm so relieved. You turned off your clone. Uh, 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 yes, I must wash and comb. Whatever. No sense talking gibberish. Let's get him to the professor. We're here. Time to neutralize Pat's clone for good. Uber Pat goes over there. Pat, we mustn't waste any time. There, open that chamber. <laughs> yes, it worked just like we planned. Yeah. I'm really sorry you went haywire. I'll miss you. Bye. Stand back. It vibrates. Think of it this way, Pat. You're totally unique. They could never make a perfect clone of you. Right back at you, Stan. Yes, right back at you. Right back at you. <laughs> oh, either it's time to replace that box of baking soda or I need a bath. Here we go. Milk, fruit, cereal, and my cake. Woo. Um. One slice for Stan and the rest for me. Stan, breakfast is ready. Rise and shine. I was testing a new recipe and I wanted to try it first to make sure it was up to your layer cake standards. <laughs> Pat, it's a disaster. You think it looks tasty? Go ahead, try it. My face is disgusting, not the cake. It's not that bad. Of course, I'm used to it. Not my whole face, just this bump right oh, there. Oh, that is gross. Ugh, it looks like a pimple. So you were the one who ate the last brownie. It's not a pimple. It's bigger than that. Well, it could be the start of what my cousin had. Your cousin Sam? You mean the one who had that hairy nose growing <laughs> out of the top of his head? Yeah, and it was a runny nose, too. <sighs> Ew, 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 oh, oh no. Mmm, <laughs> can you smell the fresh banana? Yeah, I can smell them, because I got a giant nose growing out of my head. Calm down, it's just a little bump. Bye, I've got some errands to do. Now try and rest. Wait, where are you going? No, 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 nowhere special. J -j 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 just going out to pick up some bananas. <laughs> Bye. It's small and pink and looks like a pimple, but not the kind you can pop. What can it be? Hmm? It's shaped like un maracino cherry, correct? Uh, well, Professor, not really. Not like that. These red velvet cysts with multicolored lesions that look like candy? Ah, uh, uh, no, but maybe it's closed. Candy, no. Then I'm sorry to say it must be this. <gasps> oh, the day! The Streptococcus fascista fossilitis. The flesh mutates into these huh? grotesque red globules oh. that destroy the epidermal layer of the skin. You're not serious. Yeah, I am. It's rare and dangerous. Here, uh, take a look. But I, what, what should I do? I still need to buy the bananas. Is, is there a cure or a stand? I have the remedy. Here are the instructions. Use once a day directly on the cyst. And this is very important. This ointment must not contact water. No water. Yeah, the water will cause the boobles. They blow and they blow and they will swell inside of Stan's stomach and get bigger and fatter. The night of the living boobles, Stan will rule the day he was born. He will freak out. Understand? Yes. Then here. Funny how you bumped into the professor at the fruit stand. Oh. <laughs> and he just happened to have the ointment I need. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, small world. Uh, how about rubbing some of that stuff behind your ears, okay? Just in case. Here, let me help. Aren't you going overboard? I thought he said it wasn't serious. <laughs> oh, it's like sunblock. You should rub it all over your doggy self. At first, I thought you weren't telling me what the professor really said because I had some sort of rare skin disorder. Isn't that silly? <laughs> Take it easy, Pat. That yeah, stuff stinks. Why do you have to be so negative? Me a headache. It's enough not nice. is enough, okay? No. You sure it was supposed to go everywhere? Yes, even on your pinky toes. Yeah. I don't. Hey, Pat, what's going on? I'm burning up. Pat! Grace under pressure, Stan! Don't panic! It itches like poison ivy! Quick! 
Water! No, no water! You mustn't get wet! I'll call Professor Chi Chi! You stay right there! <laughs> told me Stan's a little under the weather. Want to help me cheer him up? Of course. We'll take his mind off his troubles and offer him peace and harmony. Hi, you guys. What are you up to? We're here to visit Stanley. Want to come? I'd love to. Stanley is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. I know my high school chemistry kid is here someplace, but I don't know where. Oh, maybe the mice hit all my test tubes. Ugh, they become so anti-science these days. Oh, yeah. What's happening to me? Rubber gloves? Check. Science goggles? Check. Now, which one of these chemicals do I need? Here's one. Yo! Oh, Stan smells bad enough already. Next. This smells like rotten eggs. Let's see what's left. That's nice. Just a few drops mixed with saline solution ought to do it. You okay, Stan? I think you should go easy on the sweets till you're feeling better. <laughs> Stan! I've got the cure! I did it! Stan, what happened? Stephanie? Stuart? Emily? Cool gloves, Pat. Stan fell down the stairs. Two broken ribs, a double fracture of the tibia, and a dislocated shoulder. When I put the cast on his nose, the plaster stopped the bubble releases. But make sure his bite doesn't get infected. My bite? What bite? The mosquito bite on your nose, Stanley. I have one just like it. Huh? No need for a topical gel with my brand new formula. Now, Stanley, open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! His bite has disappeared. Yeah, but now it's on his backside. Hey. And now it's not just one red bump. Oh, no! I count 23. No. It looks like a raspberry. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, <laughs> it was the test batch. Remember, this was an emergency. I'll go find Professor Chi-Chi. <laughs> 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 You leave me no choice but to challenge you to a duel. Challenge me if you must, but I shall remain. Leaving is out of the question. It's you who I must extricate, extricate, exfoliate it? <laughs> Can't you get your lips around words with more than one syllable? It's pronounced extricate, got it? It means to turn loose. Oh, don't act like a smarty pants because you know one word. One word? Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Ask yourself why they cast me in the role of the dashing hero who wins the duel, huh? Because who'd believe you'd beat me? Don't be so sure you're going to win that duel, big shot. <laughs> Stephanie can't help but be smitten. <laughs> huh, you mean thickened? Look at that greasy mustache. Yeah. Now this is a mustache, and so manly, too. If you want to act dashing and suave, then watch me. Just try to keep up. <laughs> Hmm. Bonjour, Stephanie. Your hero has arrived. Let's get the show on the road, Steph! Hi, boys. I'm so glad you're here. Your mustache, so sharp. Mm -hmm. oh, and so prickly. Yours too, Stan. Oh, a bit high. No, oh, uh, wherever you want. There. Wow. That looks wonderful. Yeah, it brings out the color of my eyes. Brown noser. <laughs> Attention, everyone. Rehearsal begins in five minutes. Hey, guys, cool costumes. Stuart, what are you doing here? Are they recasting Pat already? Oh, I'm not in the play. Stephanie asked me to be the stage manager and help her with the props and sets. See this broom? <laughs> well, don't you two look like movie stars? I'll take that, Stuart. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Now, actors' places, please! Marquis.
Tita Stan, I beg of you, get up. You flatter me ever so, but my heart is still unsure. How could you care for anyone other than me, my beloved? I have looks, charm, and make a mean omelet. Sorry to punch in! Uh, at last, you scoundrel! Yeah. Stan, it's the night of Patagonia! Tis I, at your service! Here to pledge my love! Oh, oh. <laughs> You're gonna pay for that, Stanley! I'm scared. Marquis de Stan, you lie, cheat, and truth be told, snore in your sleep! You're unfit to wipe the toe cheese from my paws, you oversized musketeer! Hmm. <laughs> I've had enough. Now take your leave! I'll do nothing of the sort! I'll stay here! Leaving's out of the question until it's. Mm, you who I extricate! <laughs> Bravo, Pat. That was a very tricky word. He's a genius for saying one word right, Patagonia. If you insist not to desist, then you compel me to challenge you to a duel. I accept your challenge, Marquis Didi. Just name your weapons, please. Bless you, Stanny. A duel? My dears, this is unbearable. And to think I am responsible. Oh. Sorry to interrupt, madame, but there has been a tragedy. Huh? Worse than a ruptured dam or torrential river, more dangerous than a tempest at sea is the leak in our pipes. A leak? A duel? What a cruel world it is. Psst, psst, Stuart! <laughs> what? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> I can do it. I'm handy! Huh. Oh, wow! Well, uh, hmm. <laughs> Can't you settle this peacefully? Is my heart worth this act of violence? No, a duel it shall be. It is the way things are done, and besides, it's in the script. <laughs> Gentlemen, here are your weapons. I would stay and watch, but I have to help Stuart with the next set change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> I think those are the props for the breakfast scene. <laughs> now I'm having some fun. <laughs> Try this one. <laughs> Mine tasted like bananas. What flavor was yours? <gasps> no! Yours is banana too! <laughs> Stop it! Control yourself! <laughs> okay. Be a professional. Stuart, set change for act three. Water is Everywhere! It's a flood, and this carpet is an heirloom from my dearest great-grandmama. Madame, use this chair! Save yourself! Do not worry about me! I'm just the hired help! You are in grave danger! Let me help! Where is your life jacket? I don't know! How will I ever escape? Don't move! I have just the thing! Ignore that scoundrel! It is I who will save you! Jump onto my inner tube and we'll float away! <laughs> I'm back! And not a moment too soon! Look at that! He's a freak show! What do you mean? These are regulation flippers! Regulate this! Behold my dinghy! If only they had these on the Titanic! <laughs> yes, they'd have flown to safety! Now step aside! Hey! I wanted to return that! Did you see that, Stephanie? He punctured my boat! Marquis de Stan, you mark my words! I'm going to peel you like a banana! No! The script! Stay faithful to the script! No improvising! Madame, it's over! Our hero! Hey, why is Stuart on stage? This here, madame, is a gentleman traveler. The hero who stopped the flood before my eyes. Uh, I used to be a plumber. Oh, Joy, you are a saint and also my savior. It is to you who I will give my heart. Huh? Oh, I meant to tell you two, I changed the ending. Isn't it more exciting to have it be a complete surprise? And Stuart's such a sweetheart. Mm. Yeah, a living doll. Our very own Sleeping Beauty. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the live press conference was cancelled for one simple reason. I enjoy my answers very more than your questions. Mm -hmm. Introducing Gamma Chameleon. <laughs> the Gamma C can copy the DNA of any biostructure, for example. Take the single penguin feather, then apply its chromosomal blueprint onto any other organism. This hamster, for one.
Watch as we turn my fellow rodent to a penguin and call it the Gamma Sea. Hmm. Huh. 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 Still here? Something must have gone wrong, though. Your fur looks lighter. Huh? Professor Chi-Chi? Huh? Professor Chi-Chi? Where are you? Sorry I dozed off. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yuck! So we canceled. Big deal. The press always holds a grudge. <sighs> Professor Chi-Chi, where did you go? Hi, Stuart. Have you seen the professor? Is he here? Huh? Where'd he go? No, he's not. Uh, I've looked everywhere. I was helping him in the lab, testing his newest invention. More toys! The gamma chameleon. Then I felt some drool on my chin. And... Ugh, and then you passed out and woke up smelling like sardines. Uh, more like anchovy pizza, minus the pizza. Mm. That's a whole other story. We'd help, but American Rival oh, is on. that's right! Tonight's the finale! Huh? <laughs> Both finalists are great singers, so it all comes down to who spreads the meanest rumor. Huh? Uh, mm. When they're in your way, you gotta Professor take them down! Yeah, yeah! Switch it to the right channel, Stan! I don't want to miss one second of the showdown between the crossdresser and the thumb sucker! No! This can't be happening, Stan! I don't care how you do it, just fix it! Look! I thought Stuart's Scammer Blaster was the remote! I have to watch the finale, Stan! I voted twice! Let's give this back to Stuart and watch the show at his place. Mm. Huh? <laughs> Stan, is the Ice Expo this week? <laughs> Hello? Stuart, you there? Mm. <laughs> Holy <laughs> mackerel! We smell! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Pat, you see that? Just like Stuart. He conked out. No one's just like Stuart. I understand that up here, but down there, he's Stuart. What? Stuart transformed into a penguin? Impossible. Look at his hair. This is just like a horror movie. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> They're all penguins! What's next, Spider and Bat People? Courage! The professor! He can help us unless they got to him already! What if he's been penguinized like the rest of them? Actually, he's too short to be a penguin. And he hates fish! <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 If one of you is Professor Chi Chi, raise your head, uh, your fin. <laughs> Wise guys, eh? I'll find him without their help. <laughs> Are you copying me? <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Not bad at all. Now combine the moves into one sequence. It's him, Professor Chi-Chi. Uh, I don't think so. Where's his lab coat? Eh, uh, let's ask him. <laughs> well, it could be broken, or maybe it doesn't work in reverse. <laughs> Pat, oh no, don't desert me. It's your Stanny Poo. <laughs> Give me that. Stay where you are, or I'll zap you. <laughs> That'll hold him. Uh, his camera. The professor always records his experiments. The galaxy requires only one DNA molecule to make this penguin biomorphosis complete. One molecule is a very itty bitty piece of DNA. You know that, don't you? Of course. DNA. 
Professor, remember that day when I caught you picking your nose? You won't be sorry now. He parked it here. Or was it here? Chewing gum. There ought to be DNA in this also. Note this out. Wash my hands. Voila! Yeah, it's not my fault you can't fly! Don't take it out on me! No! <laughs> you think you're depressed, Stanley? Look what those bird brains did to my gamma gamma chameleon! Professor, how did you turn back into yourself? Oh, get real. I may be a mad scientist sometimes, but I'm not stupid. I always make the effects of my trial runs temporary, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> my big mistake was focusing on the big picture of the Gamma Sea and ignoring the obvious personality flaw of the penguin. A bird forced to wear a tuxedo all its life is bound to be hostile. Starfish! I'm so sorry, Professor Chi-Chi. I must still have some of that angry penguin DNA inside of me. <laughs> Attend! Hut. Okay, soldier, you know what to do. Let's roll! Eyes wide open in the face of clear and present danger. Hi, kids! You better hop to it! Thank you, Stan! And you too, Pat! Chi-Chi had a nervous breakdown last time. It was as if his whiskers were tied in a knot. He was so upset. No babysitting for him! Ah, the leap! This is an embarrassing experience! I must stay! <laughs> uh, don't worry. We're pros. Yes, I know. Bye-bye! Time to take control! Attention, bunnies! Let's form two rows, then we march to the park! Hop to, 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 then not so fast! If you didn't know what I meant by two rows, one of you should have said something! <laughs> Watch out! Oh, you're the ringleader, Momo, so if you behave, the others will too. And be warned! I get gas when I'm frazzled. Huh. What is that? If I don't get the greenish goldish globe award for my mash of the trash machine, then I'm Ud Lab Monkey's uncle once removed. That's weird. Okay, let's march. <laughs> Hey, what's uh, going on? Having fun? Uh, hanging upside down on a tree limb makes me sleepy. Ow! Come on! So we had a few laughs, but no more playing games, soldiers. Move out! Momo, I'm watching you. This is a fun DVD. It ought to keep them busy till Lily comes to pick them up. Good thinking. We misplaced them? Maybe. Uh, let's just say they're trick-or-treating. Kitties, it's not Halloween. Come out, come out, wherever you are. The DVD was a bore. We're sorry. I thought it was a game of hide-and-seek, but I was only half right. I was thinking, but Stan, I looked everywhere. they weren't hiding. They disappeared. Who can we blame this on? We're not babysitters. We're baby losers. We won't get paid. <laughs> time so I can go find the bunnies? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so check them out while I go round up the kids. You wait here and I'll go. And stay here, don't come with me, okay? Just stay here. <laughs> Maybe they're in here. Stan, but what are you two doing here? You're too sick. She was about to give me a shot and as soon as I saw the needle, I felt better. Karen, Jocelyn, Marky, Jimmy! <laughs> they're off playing games. That's right, they're indoors. Well, they're uh, all in here. <laughs> uh... 
That wind is strong, and now the door is stuck. Uh, uh, just hold on, Lily. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mommy's here. Where are you? Come out. Pad, we have got to find them this instant. Let me concentrate. I'm a defenseless but mischievous baby bunny, so I'm trying to think, where do I go that would freak out all the adults and get my babysitters in a whole lot of trouble? <laughs> Professor Chi-Chi's Chi -Chi's laboratory! laboratory. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, the bunnies! bunnies. Yeah. No, they're eggshells! Yeah. Nightlights! A plastic doodad! Are you mad? Look what you've done to the rabbits! Mm. Are these functional or just decorative? Hmm. Like any genius, I'm in my own world, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Lily, the mother of your invention. Tell me what? <gasps> Lily! <laughs> Surprised? The cellar door wasn't stuck, it was jammed shut! With this rake, I used my teeth to pry it loose. Splinters tasted okay with notes of musk. Okay, where are my children? Uh, well, in fact... Uh, Be careful. Ask him! You will damage my plastic eggs, which, by the way, have no cholesterol. Can you eat them? Pat? <laughs> are you two learning to tie sailor's knots? With all these ropes? Hmm? No! <laughs> <laughs> you for this. You should have told me we were playing hide-and-seek. But it was a surprise, right, Stan? And you were surprised, huh? So there. Hey, Momo! <laughs> <laughs> the game doesn't work this way! Who told you to hop when I drop? <laughs> yes, you won the game, okay? <laughs> yeah, well done, Bunny Rabbit. Yeah, good job. So glad it's over. Next time, I'll hide. Your mom's in charge now. Babysitting was the best. That's why we won't do it again. It couldn't get any better. Don't be silly. They love you. I hope you babysit all the time. Well, maybe, but uh, maybe not. Pat? Stan? You there? I told them two o'clock sharp. Where could they be? Pat? Stan? I'm running late. I have my carrot cake bake off. I need to start peeling. Pat, do you think they'll be able to find us? I hope not. This is one game of hide-and-seek I plan on winning. No use hiding, because the kids will find you. Trust me.